Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen here at Star Child Tarot and I felt guided to do another one of my um, next 48 hours messages for you. Um, there is one on Soul Magic Inspirations as well. I'm alternating them between the channels um, as I just feel there's messages that apply. Um, don't forget there is a free competition on this channel to win a free reading. Just subscribe, like, comment the word star. If you're an existing subscriber, thank you for your support. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you enjoy my content. And don't forget to subscribe, like and comment to win a reading. And it's free and it really helps my channel grow. Um, check out my other channels on Magic Inspirations. Check out my deck shop and my Patreon. All the links are down below. So we're going to get started. I've pre-shuffled the oracles to see what messages we have from Spirit today. So take what resonates and leave the rest. So we've got grieving. So I feel that that was the first card out. And in the UK, um, if you've not heard in the world, I'm not a royalist, so I will say that. Um, the Queen died, obviously. She was known throughout the world. She'd ruled our country for 70 odd years. Um, the longest serving monarch, I think, in, in our history. And so we've got grieving, so this could resonate as a collective that some people are grieving this, or you could be grieving something in your own life. And it doesn't always have to be somebody has passed over, it can be grieving the loss of, of a relationship, the loss of a job, um, the loss of a home, um, the loss of a status. You know, grieving can cover all sorts of experiences in life. And all I will say is when, you, when you're grieving, you need to really feel those feelings, okay? You need to let them out in whatever way, okay? Whether you feel sadness and you want to cry, if you're angry, you know, punch a pillow, do physical exercise, write it out, you know, in a safe way, express your anger. Um, but feel the feelings, don't try and suppress it, don't try and hold it in, okay? You need to release, you need to feel the feelings, release and trust me, you'll feel a lot better afterwards. It may take some time to feel better, but just keep doing that, okay, until you do. And if you have lost anyone, I am sorry for your loss. And we've got life purpose. So a lot of you could be rethinking your life purpose, rethinking your life at this time. I feel we are at a new threshold of a new way of living. A lot more people are questioning the lives they have, the lives they lead. Okay, the, the world in general, the way people are told to live their life. I feel more and more people are questioning that and wanting to live outside the box, wanting to live life in their own way. <clears throat> and, you know, looking for meaning, looking for purpose in your life. So take that time to reflect, take that time to go within. Um, You know, you are your own best guru you should be your own guru i mean listen to other people by all means but you are your own guru only you knows what's truly in your heart and follow your heart and we've got justice coming in so that's a very good sign i feel there has been a lot of injustice in the world in general you know in your own individual life and in the world in general a lot of injustice so i feel the scales are getting balanced We've been in a lot of dark darkness on this planet for hundreds of years and the scales are becoming more balanced. There's more light coming into the planet, into us as individuals and justice will be served. You know, those that have committed wrongs, you know, they will not get away with that, okay? There is divine justice and things will be put right that went wrong, okay? And it, it could take many, many decades, but I feel that the world is changing. And we've got commitment here. So for some of you, this could be in your own life. Maybe there's a commitment coming towards you. This could be somebody offering you a commitment or you offering someone a commitment in a relationship. This could be a commitment to yourself, you know, to only, you know, be around people that resonate with you, um, to do a job that resonates with you, to commit to having your best life, to commit to having the life you deserve. Whatever that means for you. And we've got freedom. Look, she's in a cage there. 
So this is about claiming your freedom, okay? Claiming your sovereignty. We are all born sovereign beings. We we are all worthy of that. We all deserve that. We should have our freedom. But unfortunately, the world we live in has put us in cages, in different boxes. And it's up to you to try and get out of that, okay? To find a way out, find the key <clears throat> to get yourself out of that stuck energy, that cave, cage, that box, whatever the, you're trapped or you feel trapped, wherever you feel trapped, okay, it's time for freedom, it's time to open the, open the door to the cage, open the box, open the key to your heart, open, start with your heart, connect with your heart, okay, and that will tell you how to achieve this freedom for yourself. And well-being, so it's time to take care of yourself, it's time to really watch what you eat and drink, to take care of your physical body. I feel we rely very, very too much really on um, medical practices. Um, I'm more of a believer in holistic therapies and remedies, the natural way. You know, we have, all have we have plants on the planet, you know, that are, have those healing abilities. And when you go to pharmaceutical companies, obviously, it all starts with the natural, you know, the plants, the herbs, but then they add chemicals into it. And truly, what do those chemicals do to your body? You know, when you read the descriptions with your medicine that you take, you know, there's usually lots of harmful side effects. And I realise some people have to take something and obviously you follow your own guidance about what you need but just be aware you know just be aware of what you're putting into your body is it actually doing you any good and you know have that balance in your life find that balance you know between work and home and family and socializing you know life is not we're not here to just work you know you work yourself to death which is what people did in the past you know a lot of people you know they people didn't live as long in the past and when they quit their jobs, a lot of people would die. Um, that shouldn't be your reason to be, you know, find that reason to be, you know, find the thing that brings you joy, passion. And that's the thing that you should do. And boundaries, you know, boundaries in your life. It's important to protect our own energy. It's a protect, important to have boundaries with other people. You know, if you're an empath, you do pick up on other people's energies. They can drain your energy um, and you're a good listener. Again, people can drain your energy if you're not careful. And I've, I've spoken about this on Instagram recently. You need to make sure your own cup is full before you get to others. So, you know, uh, that goes back to well-being, taking care of yourself, looking after yourself. So that you are in that position to give to others if you if you want to give to others, but only do so when you're in a good place, when you're feeling good and protect yourself, you know, from negative people, situations, protect your aura um, so that you can be in that higher vibration. And we've got prosperity that keeps coming out. So there's definitely prosperity coming towards you. Um, new abundance could be unexpected you know there's like a shower of coins um, I feel in the world we're going back to more gold backed um, coinage I don't know much about the financial market but I feel maybe some of you you maybe you've invested in gold or silver or you know the coins and the bitcoins um, and maybe this is going to bring in you this prosperity but it doesn't have to be that it could be some unexpected money coming to you. Maybe you've been working on your manifestation, so keep doing that. And we've got spirit guides. So I feel your spirit guide wants you to let you know they're here, they're around you right now, and you can call on them at any time, but they need you to ask for their help and assistance and guidance. You need to call on them. As we have free will, they cannot intervene in your situation. But if you want help, if you want intervention, if you want support and guidance, call on your angels and inspiration so there could be some inspiration coming towards you okay you could be getting an inspired idea you know this could be through your dreams through a meditation maybe watching something you know in in social media maybe meeting somebody that inspires you could be anything 
but you know use that inspiration you know to to maybe create something from that and we have gratitude the bluebell fairy so yeah be in the energy of gratitude the more we can be grateful the more there will be to be grateful even that from the smallest thing in our life you know from the rain the rain nourishes us it nourishes the planet you know from the highest you know, elements of gratitude, you know, to be in the energy of love, happiness, the good vibrations, you know, and everything in between. So be in that energy of gratitude and renewal. So there is some sort of renewal coming in your life and we've got the frog. So this could be for some of you in your love life because they always say you have to kiss a lot of frogs <laughs> before meeting your prince so this could be talking about your love life for some of you there could be a renewal there could be somebody coming in that is for you that is the one for you and we've got the number two zero which obviously two is relationships partnerships okay so this could be a new partnership coming in and this this person is going to be the prince or the king or whatever you've been looking for rather than the frog and acceptance starry night so Coming into that energy of acceptance, acceptance of yourself. We all have we all have flaws. Nobody's perfect. We all make mistakes. You could resonate as a star seed. You could connect with a star family, or maybe it's time to connect with them. Accept who you are in all aspects of yourself, and accept where you are where you are right now, and move forward from that. Okay. And we have the number four plus one, which is change. So I do feel changes are going to come forward. And we've got healing energy. Look at this beautiful bear with the the lady there. So I feel it's about having that strength, having that, um, you know, strength within you to be strong, but also that vulnerability, that softness with yourself. And number four is about foundations and building that foundation with, around yourself and giving yourself that healing that you need, accepting that healing, you know, healing, you know, from past hurts, whatever that is for you. And magic, moonlight, enchantment, magic. So, yes, and the number two plus five, seven, which is that spiritual number, spirituality. So believe in the magic of life, believe in the magic of you. And we're coming into that magical phase. Halloween is, is coming up towards us. And maybe some of you do like to practice magic in some way or do spell work or work with candle magic and believe in the magic. You know, you are a magical being and, you know, tap into the magic of life. And we have patience. So foggy bog. So maybe you're in a bit of a fog right now, some of you. Maybe you're not seeing clearly. Maybe you feel stuck, you're not sure which is your next way forward. So it's just saying have patience with yourself right now. Do not be hard on yourself. Sometimes we just need to wait like the hangman energy. Just wait until, you know, things improve, things change and we know which way we want to go. So have patience with yourself right now. And we've got joy, hummingbird spirit. And the hummingbird is such a beautiful bird. And the number two, two. Again, I feel talking about relationships for some of you. So I feel there's somebody that's going to be bringing a lot of joy into your life. Not that you haven't got that already, but it's going to really bring in some joy, some happiness. Um, you know, that, like what you call it, the honey, the sweetness of, into your life. You know, the, the honey, honey hummingbird is, is, is getting the, the juices out, the flower, the stem, the nectar, whatever you call it. And I feel you're going to enjoy that, the nectar of life with somebody. Yeah, and you've been going through a transformation. And, you know, this could be you emerging like the butterfly. Okay, coming out of a period where you've been in that cocoon, where things have been stuck, where you haven't been able to move forward. And it's time to rise up and, and come out like the butterfly you are, to spread your wings, to move forward as a newer version of yourself dietary change improve your diet and your life life will also improve so it, it's a recommendation from your guides to maybe change your diet we had well-being earlier so maybe there's some things that you need to change about your diet 
and it says if you do this your life will improve so maybe something is not giving you the energy the vitality you need okay so maybe tap into your intuition about this what could you change in your diet which will help improve your life and assertiveness stand up for your beliefs and only say yes if you really want to so again this is going back to boundaries going back to sovereignty stand up for yourself stand up for your beliefs you know don't let people try and bully you don't let people bully you into a yes when you want to say no that's having those boundaries in place don't be afraid to say no don't be afraid to protect your own energy your own life force don't let people drain you um you know because once you protect yourself and you do this you'll feel much better about yourself and you'll feel stronger and more comfortable with doing that in future and goodbye to the old hello to the new you've finished one part of your life and now an even better part is beginning how beautiful is that so we saw that your transformation so you're coming into a better period of your life okay and it's even better than the last part okay and it's because you become a new version of you so there's some good things coming towards you here so that's beautiful and we've got autumn in the full season everything comes together and you reap wonderful harvest of abundance so in the northern hemisphere where i live we're in the autumn season now and yeah it's the time of harvest you know in the in the farms you know they harvest all the crops and get them ready for winter you know when things are not able to grow the old way you know had the storehouses didn't they they stored everything before we had supermarkets but i feel this is something to do again with your love life um and to do with your finances and your home it says harvest of abundance so there's more than one thing coming towards you you've been doing the work on yourself you've been putting in the time and effort doing that healing working on your shadow side and you're going to reap the harvest of this there's going to be good abundance coming towards you and winter the answers to your prayers and affirmations are fully realized in the winter months so again in the northern hemisphere we're heading towards winter so for some of you in the winter months again your manifestations your affirmations will be coming realized at that time your prayers will be answered at that time and debt paid off the old weight and habit of debt is lifted from you and your life so i feel this is a general thing about the world i feel something in the world is going to shift i'm not saying that's going to happen in the next 48 hours but i feel that there could well be a clearance of old debts and the way of living the world having debts everybody having a debt so we're all slaves to the debt like a mortgage um like buying a car uh buying those large items but having to borrow money and i feel that system will be coming to an end i'm not saying that's in the 48 hours um but with your personal debt it could be to do with that you could have some debts and they could suddenly get cleared or you're going to have the finances we just see abundance coming in that you're going to be able to clear these debt but i feel it's also talking about karmic debt the karmic lessons we learn and i feel a lot of people's karma has been cleared is going to be cleared and you know we won't have to keep coming back learning the same lessons travel an upcoming trip proves to be life-changing in positive ways so for some of you this could be travel coming up for you so this could be travel abroad for some of you this could be travel uh, within your own country this could be travel to meet maybe um, extended family and um, this could be travel to do with a work situation or it could just be travel because you want to see different parts of the world but it's saying that it's life changing in positive ways okay so you know this could resonate for some of you business venture trust and follow through on a new business idea or career opportunity so your guys and angels are asking you to trust your guidance to follow through these are divine um, signs or messages um, coming to you about this idea this career opportunities they're they're really connecting with you or they're wanting to connect with you about these ideas which is going to bring you abundance look at all this gold here 
So it's going to be very lucrative for you if you follow up on this idea, this inspired idea. And we had inspiration earlier. So this inspired idea could really bring you some abundance. And whom do you need to forgive? As you release old anger or resentment, you will find your wishes will come true. Wow. So being in that energy of forgiveness, forgive yourself, forgive others. And, you know, by letting go of this, your wishes will come true. And connect with nature. You're rejuvenated and inspired by spending time outdoors. So get outside. If you haven't been able to get outside, get out into nature and connect with Mother Gaia. Uh, ground yourself. You know, walk bare feet on the earth, hug a tree, listen to the bird song, go by the ocean. It will really refresh and re rejuvenate you. And we've got new earth. It's happening. Keep holding the vision. So be part of the collective, you know, to visualise, to set intentions for the new earth. How do you want the new earth to look? How do you want it to be for you, your family, your friends? And on an individual level and on a global level, you know, keep manifesting this. Activated earth, power places, ley lines, trust where you're led. So a lot of the ley lines that have been dormant for many centuries are becoming active. Okay, special places, special energetic places on the earth. And you could be guided to some of these places. They could re-energize you. You could have some special connection with these places. And baby steps. Action. Follow your intuition before it makes sense. So yeah, this is like the full energy to me. Sometimes we need to take that leap of faith before it makes sense. To take a public leap of faith without knowing all the answers. And the universe will catch you. The universe will help you or assist you on your journey. Water your garden. Nourishment, body care, tenderness and rest. So again, it's talking about taking care of yourself, okay? Looking after your body. Make, you know, what are you eating? What are you drinking? Are you looking after your physical body? And it's taking care of yourself, as I said, always take care of yourself first. Be nurturing to yourself. Give yourself the tenderness that you give others. Give yourself the rest that you deserve. The great severing, Mars energy, anger, conflict, softening to love. So on this planet, we have a lot of anger, don't we? There's a lot of anger, there's a lot of hate, you know, negative energies, okay? And we need to release it as a collective. We do hold on to it, some of us. Some people express it in inappropriate ways. These are part of the emotions that we experience as a human. And it causes conflict, doesn't it, in our own lives, in the, in the world as a whole. Okay, and it's time to release those feelings, as I said, but in a safe way. Release those feelings of anger over whatever, you know, to do with your family life, to do with the world in general and to do with injustice whatever that is for you but release it in a safe way and you know <clears throat> express it you know do some physical exercise punch a pillow write your feelings out in a letter or, or in a journal you know whatever it is for you do some kickboxing whatever works for you and then once you feel those feelings and release that you can soften to love and be in the energy of love be in the love energy of love and compassion and child of the cosmos, the intelligence of the universe lies within you. So we're all from the cosmos. We're all part of the the universal whole, the part of the one. We're all um, sparks of the divine. So we all have the information. We all have the intelligence within us. So go within, meditate on this, because all the answers lie within you. So connect with that. I'm sorry, defencelessness, writing past wrongs, uprooting. So, yeah, maybe you need to make amends with somebody here, um, writing a past wrong. Maybe you need to move forward in your life, um, detach from people or situation that no longer serve you, that drag you down, you know, detach, cut cords with these people and move forward in your life and forgive, you know, as I said earlier, forgive yourself and forgive others portal doors are opening you decide rewards with wild card so portals are opening you know to the new earth to new ways of being 
new opportunities in your life it's your choice what you choose to do where you where you choose to go it's always your choice you have free will okay so wild card so it could be the unexpected is waiting for you so sometimes we need to take that risk and lifting the veil questioning everything anything unaligned must go so yeah it is time to question everything in your life in the world in general the way things are run the way things are it's our time to question these it's our time to make changes for the better for everybody and as i said earlier anything unaligned with you whether it be people jobs situations you must move away from that and find what is aligned with you find your own soul tribe a time to give rather than take so a time to give to the community maybe to yourself always okay and and do what you can to help others at this time others that are not able to give at this time how can you help them in your way and you are good enough okay you are good enough and we've got virgo you know the sign of you know the the helper the healer um you are good enough okay there's nothing wrong with you and bring love into the situation again. So we've got the new moon coming up in the next week or so. And we're coming into the age of Aquarius. So it's all about love, being in that energy of love, as I said. So honour that part of yourself. And the energy is gaining momentum. And I feel this is to do with the collective. We are moving towards the new earth. We are moving towards a better way, a new way of being in the world. And yes, it's a time for healing. A lot of healing has been needed in the collective and in ourselves. So give yourself that time. Honour that aspect that you need healing. And you're close to achieving your goal. So we are close to achieving the goal. We are close to the new earth. And in your own life, whatever goal you're moving towards, they want you to know that you're close to achieving that. And surrender to the divine. It's always about surrender, to trust, to have faith, to trust in that divine timing, to trust that the universe, universe has your back, that there is a divine plan and things are happening the way they're meant to. Don't try and control everything. Just trust, okay, which is easier said than done, I know. And uncovering treasure. Beneath the surface lies great bounty. Wow, again, abundance. So there's definitely abundance coming in. But I also feel within yourself, when you go within, you will discover great treasure within you. Okay, the the knowledge of all that is, the ancient wisdoms, everything handed down through your bloodline lies within you. Unknown territory, you are exactly where you need to be, as I was just saying. So trust in that, trust that you're exactly where you need to be right now and just keep moving forward, okay? And voyage of the heart, love throw, flows through you and to you. How beautiful is that? Being in that love energy, being in the energy of love, in that unconditional, compassionate love for all, for everybody, for yourself, to bring that energy of love to the planet, you know, the highest vibration of all, you know. Watching clouds, lie back, rest and relax. Yeah, take that time out to rest, to relax. To give yourself a bit of me time. To nurture you. To just allow yourself to be sometimes. And first light. Beginning a new cycle. Yes. So there's new cycle in your life coming towards you. New beginnings. Okay. A new chapter of your life. And it's going to be a much brighter, much lighter time for you. After a period of darkness. And we've got Mystic Healer. Healing energy flows through you. So a lot of you, you, you are powerful healers. Some of you may have done training to be healers. You don't need to train. We all have the ability within us. But maybe it's time for you to learn some sort of healing modality, which will help you channel it more. Um, but you have that healing energy within you. So heal yourself and then help to heal others. Desert Passage. Trust as a divine plan. So I was just saying that. So yeah, trust. There is a divine plan. You may have been through a very difficult time. With the desert, there is nothing growing, is there? There is no, no water, maybe no greenery. There's nothing growing. It's just sand. It's just, there's just nothing there. But in the in the in the future, you can see the sun in the distance, and moving towards that, moving towards a brighter future, 
coming out of this period of stagnancy, coming out of this period of a lack of growth, into new growth, okay, definitely. And transformation, a fresh new way of living emerge, emerges. So yes, as I said, you've been through a transformation and you're a new version of you and there's going to be a new version of your life. You're coming into a new phase of your life, okay? So this is my deck, Life Lessons Oracle. So there is light at the end of the tunnel, keep going. So just like that desert card, okay, you're, you're heading towards the sun. <clears throat> We've got an unexpected conversation. Intelligent and thoughtful contact. So somebody has thought long and hard before contacting you here, I feel. And again, the sun is about to shine in your life. How beautiful is that? And there's magical surprises ahead. Believe in the magic of life. Yeah, we had that again. Believe in the magic of life. Believe in the magic of you. And the call of the ocean. A trip over the sea. Or a visitor from overseas. And we did have about travel. So for some of you, you could be travelling on a boat maybe over the ocean. Or you're flying over the ocean. So it could be to another continent. Or this is somebody coming towards you. And a fated meeting. Destiny awaits. So I did say I did feel... For some of you, there's a new relationship coming towards you. And passionate new beginnings in love or a creative project. So there's a lot of passion here. And just bring that passion into your life and take care of you. So some beautiful messages there. Don't forget to win a free reading. Subscribe, like and comment the word star. And I will announce the winners at the beginning of October. So love and blessings. I hope you enjoyed that. Please leave me a comment if you did. Take care. Bye for now.